Okay, slow it down. Action! Let's get a couple more seconds of that. Okay, that's a good shot. Okay, we're gonna do a slow mo, right? Action. So at least we have two speeds. And that should be good, Joe. Cut. Joe, this is speed two, okay? 33 speed on the uh, LP. Action. All right, cut. So this is uh, take two, 45 speed on the LP. Ready, action. And cut! This is in slow-mo, action. That's real smart, slow-mo, huh? Holy shit, dude. What are you seeing? This is what I see. I see that it's 2009 on the 19th, right? 
Those look like World Trade Center towers, dude. I don't know. It was just a thought. Out of body experience. 9-11, right? 9, 2009. Kind of makes sense. 11. Huh. Cut. Alright, so that's it right there, dude. We're recording right now, as you can see. Got a little mirror action going real quick. Um, focus this thing in. You see, we are recording right now. I had a little out-of-body experience for a second there. Um, yeah, the hair is just out of control. I don't want to cut it, dude, but I don't know. It's coming up, so... Uh, that's the effect that we were going for. I tested it out, and guess what? It actually works. So, this is a little experiment that we were conducting. Um, not too much light whatsoever. I don't need that much. But this is all background uh, compositional work. This effect right here was supposed to be made for the disbursement of uh, rounds per second. Uh, depending on how many how many bars black and white bars I want are going to determine how many rounds are being fired in one shot that's why you see a disbursement of and then you know of course every gun needs to uh, cool down for a second now this spins out what I'm going to eventually do is what I had in mind is to rotate this image like that and then composite over my laser as in motion too so if you're seeing this thing fire you're gonna see the laser beam go this way and you're gonna see uh, you know so I'm gonna play with this laser right now we're actually gonna shoot that we have two projects to shoot um, other than that dude it was a successful shot I put everything I dumped everything in saw how it was gonna look um, with the uh, with the laser and, and dude Mad special effects. I give you an A plus, dude. I give you an A and a plus and a plus for uh, creating this effect today. I never thought it was going to be a really good effect, but it was outstanding, actually. I am wasting film right now. I have to uh, continue because uh, I don't like wasting film, but I do like making documentaries too at the same time of how I got there. Uh, other than that, dude, when I was making the effect on the computer itself, um, Dude, I, I swear to God, I, I jumped into a little kid, like, when I was a little kid playing with Legos, and especially the spaceship Legos, too, when I was a little kid. I used to have these little neon, um, little neon antennas that plug into things, and when you shine the light against it, it makes a really cool neon green effect, and I don't know what it was, dude, but when I saw that neon green laser shoot out uh, with the car that I was playing with on the computer... Uh, that I animated with. Um, it felt like I was a little kid again playing with those Legos, dude. It was it was unbelievably like awesome, dude. I was having that experience like shit. You know, look what you're doing as a little kid and now you're still doing it, you know? So cool stuff. Uh, gonna wrap it up right now and we're gonna start a laser technique right now too. So this uh, this scene right here is definitely a wrap. So good job Joe.